Well, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Grovana, and welcome to another edition of Souls Times Hidden Treasures. Today, we're going to be doing probably the biggest hidden treasure in this entire DLC, and one of the biggest hidden treasures in the entirety of Skyrim. We're going to be doing Glacial Cave, Castle Karstag, and most importantly, killing Karstag himself. So, the first step to this process is to head down to Glacial Cave, and this is an unmarked quest, by the way. This is not marked in any way. You sort of have to figure this out for yourself hello horker so i will show you guys where the glacial cave is on your map there it is there is Sering's watch and there is temple mirak and there is where we are once more so the first step is to head into this cave which doesn't really have anything of importance except for one very important thing all right so i'm gonna do a very quick run through of this cave because like i said there's nothing really interesting in here at all the only thing that we're concerned with is the thing that you can see on the opposite end of the wall over there. So let's take care of these Reiklings really quickly so we can see it in full effect. There is the clearing noise, and there, embedded in the ice, is Karstag's skull. And if you don't know who Karstag is, basically, um, in Morrowind, The Elder Scrolls III, The Nereverine, in uh, the Blood Moon DLC, he killed this guy, and we're about to see him in full effect, or at least his ghost. So now we need to head over to Castle Karstag. Alright, did I say Castle Karstag? What I meant was Castle Karstag Ruins, which is right here. There's Sering's Watch again. And you'll notice there is a giant ice door uh, with a master level lock, and it says Castle, Castle Karstag Courtyard. Now, there's two ways to get to Karstag himself. You can either pick this lock and go through the front door. As far as my knowledge goes, there's no key. Or you can travel to, I believe it's that cave right over there, which leads to the Castle Karstag Caverns. And basically, you have to traverse through a whole bunch of Reiklings to get to like a secret door that leads up to the courtyard. We're going to do the easy way because I don't want to fight through a billion Reiklings. So let me pick this master level lock. Alright, so we've entered the courtyard, and you can see there's a whole bunch of Reiklings here. So the first thing that we have to do is clear them, obviously. We don't want these guys messing with our fight uh, that's about to happen. And you can see there, there's a throne. And that throne is going to play a big part in what's to come. Alright, so first things first, let's take a little look around here. So we came in through the front door. Not the bathroom window. That's a Beatles reference. To Castle Karstag Caverns. That's where we would have came in if we went through that way. However, like I said, I did not want to do that. Um, and it looks like that's it in the courtyard. A bunch of Reiklings everywhere. And if we walk up here, we have Karstag's throne. And it looks like there's a set of bones. Why don't we go ahead and activate it? Okay, and there's the big frost giant himself. So we have him, what looks like a giant uh, ghost of a frost giant called Karstag. And like I said, this guy played significant a significant role in the Blood Moon DLC um, for Morrowind. All right, let's go ahead and heal up. We should have a bunch of potions of ultimate healing, but I think an extreme healing will do fine. Let's also go into our magic and shouts. And hopefully we have Dragon Espa Aspect. Yeah, and we only have the second level, unfortunately. But it will help us out a little bit. Alright. And do we have any other shouts that will help us? Doesn't look like it. Alright, so now we basically need to take down this guy. And of course we have zero stamina at the moment. Do we have any stamina potions? We should, I think, hopefully, maybe. Uh, no, we do not. Okay, so this is going to be tough. Alright, but let's go ahead and start whacking away at him. Alright, so this is a really hard boss fight. It doesn't even matter what difficulty you're on. Um, it's always pretty much hard, even if you're on the lowest difficulty. I was on uh, Intermediate or whatever it was, the, the Mediary difficulty, and now I moved it back to Novice. Well, I did, and now I moved it back up. And even on Novice, it's pretty much the same thing. So, yeah, not easy at all. And I remember the first time I did this, did this it wasn't easy either. Okay, so he keeps taking us down. Uh, but he's also, no, that's the ice wrath, ice wrath, ice wraith health. I got a little excited there. 
But, uh, yeah. You can see he's dealing a ton of damage to us. Oh, he's not that far away from death, though. Okay, so we're just gonna keep whacking away at him. He also, like, removes all of our stamina. I think it's him anyways. Okay, there we go. Oh. Yeah, one, definitely one of the hardest tasks you can do in Skyrim. Alright, and we've been given the Summon Karstag spell, which is your reward, and also the Ghostly Remains, which has 10 act ectoplasms um, and 5 Grand Soul Gems that are filled with Grand Souls, which is awesome. Alright, let's say you guys that we leave this place and go see what this spell does that we've just acquired. Alright, so I was looking for a fight, and it seems that we've found one. We have a Spriggan over here. So let's go ahead and use this. Let's go into our magic, go into our powers, summon Karstag. Summons Karstag to fight you, to fight for you for 120 seconds. You may only use this ability three times and only while outdoors. So once you use this ability three times, this spell will disappear and you can never have it again for the current playthrough unless you reload or use mods or anything like that, of course. So, actually, did we activate? I don't think we did. There we go. And now... Okay, good. Alright, so it's summon Karstag, and he's not going to attack us, and he's not going to deal damage to us, but if we hit him three times, he will unfortunately turn hostile against us. So let's see. Yeah, so it looks like he kills this friggin' Earth Mother in one hit, and there he is in all of his glory. So, thank you for watching this episode of Soul Slime's Hidden Treasures, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Grovana, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.